Hi everyone. People often send me big bundles of clips all at once, and sometimes I'll undo these zip files and find out that every single video that they send is of good quality. I mean, their driving's good quality. And this is another one of these episodes. All of these clips are from one viewer, and they're really, really switched on to things. Have a look at this. It's just as important to be watching your mirrors and keeping an eye on behind as it is to be watching in front. And this saved my view of the problem because they knew they were turning left. That's a good start. My view assesses out the school crossing patrol is going to be crossing the road and lets the car out. But it's a shame the driver's observations were terrible. And I often find this in similar scenarios where I've tried to do the right thing and be nice. Other people don't observe. Driving at high speed constantly involves an assessment of your speed in relation to others, and others' speed in relation to others. Who's catching who here? My view has already sussed it, they've backed off and allowed that car to lane change, and I think they were also a little cautious of the white one to the left. Are you that perceptive, or do you just think about that your lane's clear? Very good drivers have an ease of telling the story to other road users. They don't need to flash the lights or beckon, they can do it with just their positioning and speed. This lady crossing had no doubt whatsoever that my viewer was holding back and letting them cross. Nice job. This is another good bit of high speed driving, where my viewer susses out the lorry might want to move. But what about the flash of the lights? How do you perceive that? Personally, I think it was fine. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm here, look at me, as you're moving to lane 3 to help the lorry driver out. Just make sure it wouldn't mislead anyone else, though. My viewer finds themselves in the wrong lane. It's not here on the roundabout, but it's to exit. So what they decide to do is go around again. Nothing wrong with that. They did have a choice, I think, to use lane 2 on the exit and then be asked to be let in. But there's no problem by going all the way around, circumnavigating again and then picking up the correct position. Perfect. What would you have done in this scenario? There also would have been a further option. Because there's another roundabout approaching, it wouldn't have been a problem to use the right lane, go all the way down to this roundabout, turn right and then to the exit that my viewer eventually chose. We all know what drivers of Volkswagen Golfs can be like, especially the faster ones. Have a look at this one. The bus driver's moving off, but the golf driver still overtakes. But watch a little touch further up at the next set of lights. I think the bus driver tells that golf driver off. Did you catch the driver of the bus flashing their lights? With the majority of the speed limits in London being 20 miles an hour, this was the only option for me. How many of my other viewers would have done the same? There's literally no point in pushing past this cyclist with the roadworks up ahead. And my viewer does a great job. I actually think they move out and protect them a little also. Just remember, most of the time, even if you were able to overtake the cyclist, all they're going to do is just catch you up at the next set of lights. I often try and drive so it creates the best flow for everyone. And my viewer also seems to have this same mindset. Have a look at this scenario. Even though the motorcyclist is in the incorrect lane to go ahead, my viewer works it out. This is a perfect example of why reflective clothing is important to wear at night. Not fluorescent like most people think. What's that up in the distance? My viewer spotted it. I also thought that this was a difficult balance to see what's coming and not to dazzle the jogger coming the other way. 
Notice, as soon as the jogger turns round, my viewer turns the full beams off. Great job. My viewer also doesn't struggle giving way to pedestrians at the exits of roundabouts. They do this one particularly well and safely. They spotted the joggers as they were emerging. They knew exactly what was going on. I also like this extra piece of positioning now. To slightly move to the right, again, I think that's just adding an extra little bit of protection. Nice job. Driving on roads like these requires a different skill set than driving on the faster stuff, but my view has got it all. Lovely reaction to look after the more vulnerable, even though that their approach speed was way too quick. I was also a little surprised to see this clip in this folder, because this is from Liverpool, it's in West Derby, and my viewer susses out that this lorry could be having problems coming out of the supermarket, and because of the queue, he holds back and lets them go. Perfect. I do think there was a little hesitation from the lorry driver with the learner vehicle coming the other way, but that should be easy to deal with with any driving instructor. It's also a good learning point for the pupil to gain experience from. I don't think this was my viewer's preferred option, but he's easily able to accommodate the more hesitant and nervous driver. It's obvious that the two vehicles can't fit through on the road section, but the driver of the grey car has got a better, more solid grass verge to use, but they seem reluctant to use it. But my viewer's got this one in the bag already. I think the other van driver was thinking the same. Anyway, it doesn't matter, problem's been solved. They can get on with the day now. Before we have a look at this final clip, I'd like to say a massive thanks to all my viewers for always sending in so many brilliant clips. And this episode's exactly the same as the others. People send in their folders just so the clips can be analysed and learnt from. It's my decision to put them all together and give my viewer a pat on the back. And this clip's particularly good. Why is my viewer holding so far back of the red car? Well, they've already spotted the emergency service vehicle coming in the opposite direction, and they're creating the space. And I also think this has caused the driver of the green lorry to the right-hand side to do something similar. But I truly think this was instigated by my viewer's forward planning and anticipation. If only we had more drivers like this on the road. Thanks a lot for tuning in everyone, keep safe out there, and I'll see you soon.